friends in this lecture i would like to explain another example based on the two hinge arches see here a two hinge parabolic arch of span l on rise r carries uniformly distributed load of w per meter run over the whole span assuming i equal to i not secant alpha find the expression for the horizontal thrust developed so already i solved some of the examples based on the two hinged arches so what is the horizontal thrust formula so that one will be equal to h will be equal to integral of m dash y dx by a that is numerator and denominator will be y square dx by a here if a value will be given means we can consider that one also but here it is not given therefore a will be constant so it will be equal to integral of m dash y dx by integral of y square dx and what is the given data so this this is of span here taken from here to here and rise r and udl of w per unit run okay so first find out the vertical reaction at a and also b so what is the reaction at a and b see here just like a simply supported condition whenever on a simply supported beam if udl will be acting so what is the reaction it will be distributed equally that is wl by 2 for both ends for example if a point rod is acting exactly at the center on a simply supported beam with a span of w what happens it will be distributed equal that is w by 2 w by 2 if an eccentric load like some distance w ab it will be acting means so here the load will be wb by l reaction will be and here it will be wa by l so here also it will be distributed equally otherwise you can calculate uh, taken from one end sigma mb will be equal to 0 you will get ra into l and w into l into l by 2 automatically you will get uh, wl by 2 for both the reactions reaction at e and reaction at b so what i am telling means take down like this sigma mb will be equal to 0 so ra into l so that is reaction at a into l which is clockwise and anti clockwise will be w into l into l by 2 so ll will be cancel me automatically will get ra equal to wl by 2 and again sigma v will be equal to 0 ra plus rb will be equal to w into l so automatically will get rb also will be equal to wl by 2 if you simplify this one so i am taking directly based on the this condition then after obtaining this reaction at a and reaction at b see the formula here the formula will be integration of m dash y dx so first solve any one part so i will go for numerator part that is this one integral of m dash y dx so what is m dash here m dash will be equal to moment so for that what we are doing means here we are consider one point that is p x comma y so here we are considering the section x x at a distance of x from point a so here we are considering the section x x at a distance x from a so we are resolving the entire moment up to here so ra into x and w into x into x by 2 so what is moment so this ra will be acting clockwise towards x that is ra into x and again this udl up to section x will be acting towards anti clockwise like this okay w into so minus this is clockwise taking positive anti clockwise taking negative minus w into x so load into its distance w is the load its distance into half of the by 2 so up to here w into x into x by 2 so that is the moment value so what is ra here w l by 2 so w l by 2 into x minus w by 2 x square 
so that is the moment value here again if you simplify this one you will get w by 2 common and again x also taken common l minus x you will get so this is the m dash value okay then what about y so y is the value here from taken from here to here so i already told you already i solved previous problems also y for parabolic axis which will be equal to so for finding intermediate value between a to point c so the formula will be di given directly that is 4 r by l square x into l minus x where r equal to this rise which is given exactly at the center and l equal to overall length of the span and x equal to this distance where we have to consider the section okay so substitute that value here you will get numerator value okay so your integration of m dash y dx will be equal to integration of 4 r by l square x into l minus x that is m dash value and y sorry m dash value will be equal to this one so this is entire y value so first write down y value and write down m dash value so otherwise i will write down m dash value uh, m dash value first and then y value so m dash value will be equal to first this one w by 2 x into l minus x and again y, y value will be equal to 4 r by l square x into l minus x into dx dx then one more point what we have to consider means here the limits will be taken from 0 to l and at the same time what i told yesterday one condition so a to c is part one part and c to b is another part so both are symmetric for example if you are considering part a c so the same thing you have to consider in part b c also so there will be one property in the max that is so 0 to l f of x dx that will be taken two times of 0 to l by 2 f of x dx if it will be in even so there will be one property based on that you can take down this one like this also two times of 0 to l by 2 w by 2 x into l minus x into 4 r by l square x into l minus x dx okay so take down the values outside that is 2 into w by 2 here and again 4 r by l square so x and l minus terms are possible for the differentiation so that is 0 to l by 2 x into l minus x whole square dx so keep the numerator part like this only why because we will see the denominator parts also part also after that we will go for the cancellation then we will cancel what are the terms possible for the cancellation okay then i will take the numerator part here in the bottom so that is denominator part that is denominator integral of y square dx so i am also taking the same condition that is 2 times of 0 to l by 2 what is y square y y will be equal to 4 r by l square x into l minus x so here applying square the for this one into dx and again simplify this one 2 times of 0 to l by 2 4 r means 16 r square by l power 4 and again x square l minus x x square into dx so this is the denominator value and again take down the value of outside 32 r square by l power 4 integral of 0 to l by 2 x square l minus x whole square dx so here it will be the numerator part and here it will be the denominator part so check the values once again 
So here 2 and 2 will be cancelled and write down again the values here. So what is h here? h will be equal to integral of m dash y dx by integral of y square dx. So take down all the numerator values here. What it will be? 4w r by l square. 4w r by l square into 0 to l by 2 x square into l minus x whole square dx. But then what is the denominator part? So this one 32 r square by l power 4 integral of 0 to l by 2 x square l minus x square dx. So here what I am telling means if you simplify this x square term x you will get uh, x square into l minus x expand this term l square plus x square minus 2lx and again apply integration and again upper limit lower limit finally the values here will be cancelled only. So here also the common values will be there in the bottom. So denominator and numerator if there will be common terms what we have to do we will go for the cancellation entire this part and this part and what are the terms remaining here that is 4wr by l square divided by 32 r square by l power 4. So this is based on your simplification and again simplify this one you will get 4 w r by l square into send this one to the numerator l power 4. So this is l power 4 l power 4 by 32 r square cancel the term possible term 4 1 times it will go 8 times and l square times here also l power 4 means l square times r and r will be cancelled the remaining terms will be w l square by 8 r. So the horizontal thrust developed on a UDL will be so this is w l square by 8 r. So the horizontal thrust developed on a 2 hinged parabolic arch when it consists of UDL means w l square by 8 r. So if there will be one more question comes like this. So this is the expansion of another question. See here that will be like this. So see here I will talk about this question. So the load will be acting here W. So the question will be like this on a 2 hinged parabolic arch. So only UDL will be consist exactly half of this one which is L by 2. So what is the horizontal thrust developed? So the question is simple. So you, you simplify already full UDL will be acting on the overall arch overall span of the arch. But here half of the UDL will be acting on the half of the span at that time your value will be so exactly half of the original value that is half of the full span value that is w l square by 8 r. So overall value will be equal to 1 by 16 that is w l square by 16 r. So on a 2 hinged parabolic arch if only half the span is loaded so it can be proved that is the half horizontal thrust developed. So on a full UDL it will be full times WL square by 16R plus WL square by 16R. So that is WL square by 8R. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this video, please like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.